Without a doubt, one of the topics that's generated the greatest discussion and greatest research of the last 20 years in whitetail deer is that of spike antler deerling bucks. Are these animals genetically inferior or are they simply a product of poor nutrition and late birth date? Well, there have been four landmark studies done on this subject over the last 20 years. And interestingly enough, two of those suggest that in fact spike antler deerling bucks are genetically inferior and will never catch up to those that start off life with four or more antler points. However, the other two studies show just the opposite. They suggest that given enough time and nutrition, that these spike antler yearling bucks will catch up with the others born the same year with a higher number of antler points. So what's really the take home message here? Well, I think the key point here is that there is uniform acceptance of the fact that if a, if a buck fawn is born late and or provided poor quality nutrition, he's almost assured to produce spike antler yearling bucks at one and a half years of age. However, most will still be a very, very high quality animal at maturity if given enough age and nutrition. Here's just one example. The antlers off the, uh, the buck I'm holding here, obviously this guy produced a spike at one and a half years of age. At three and a half, he produced a, a very, uh, very medium to high quality set of three and a half year old eight point deer in, the, in the, perhaps around the 120 mark, Boone and Crockett. At six and a half, you can see he was a very high quality uh, eight point animal, mainframe eight, uh, scored about 150 inch, uh, 50 inches as an eight point, weighed almost 240 pounds. Uh, so there is clear evidence. We know that once a spike, not always a spike, we know that. Most, in fact, will become high quality adult animals if you allow those spikes uh, good nutrition and enough, enough age.